This video explains the basic principles of designing a photo print layout. Now the first thing you need to do is to make sure you've got a printer attached and it's set up with the right paper size for you. That's all done in the Windows printer settings. That's not done within Rightroom itself. But once you've configured your printer, you can then choose that printer in right booths. So let's show you how to do that. Go into settings, select the photo and print tab, and here you can choose the printer that right booth will use. Now you can see that I've chosen the Microsoft XPS document writer. Now is isn't a physical printer, but I'm just using that as an example here. And you can see it's picked up on the default paper size that's been set when you set it up in uh, Windows. And here we've got 8.27 by 11.69 inches, and that I know is A4. So that's the size of the paper that I'm going to be using when I do my photo printing. Click OK. The next thing you need to do is to turn on photo printing within this event. So if you do that in the designer. Let's go to design. Now you can see I'm set up for three photos in this event. If we go to the event structure and go down to the section print photos, you can see that print photos for the event is set to no. That means no, print, no printing will occur. I'm just going to choose yes for this example. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you actually include photo printing. If you come out of here and go into the screen editor and look at the screen list, you'll now see down at the bottom there are two extra screens. Now this screen is a screen that appears when photo printing is happening during the event. And you're free to design this, you can move this around, add things, just like any other screen. So this is the screen that will show the users that the system is busy while it's printing. So the print layout screen is showing as a representation of the printer paper. And here we're looking at a landscape layout, and we've got the three photo placeholders on top. Now you can move them around and size them, position them however you want, just like you can on any of the other screens. I'm going to put that one here. Let's shift click these two, size them, put them in this corner. Let's take a look at the properties. Now we're looking at the properties of the actual paper itself and it's showing that it's A4 it's rotated so it's landscape. If I rotated it back we're now into portrait view but I'm not going to work that way. I'll go back to landscape and you can see that the background is set to be a white blank background. I'm going to change that for an image. That takes me back into the media library. I'm going to choose this background. So that will be printed along with the three photos. Um, some other editing we can do, let's select all the three photo placeholders. I'm shift clicking here and I'm going to add a border. Let's increase that slightly. Let's put some corner radius on it. And I'm going to change the colour to match the background roughly. Um, I can also add text. Go to the Add Items section, choose Label. Now you can't quite see that here, but there's actually a label that I'm dragging around. I'm going to change the colour to the same pink. Let's double click it and add some text. This is John and Julie's wedding. Let's just close some of these down for a second. Okay, that's too small. Let's increase the font size. Notice how it word wraps, so I just need to size the container slightly. Uh, I'll put a shadow on. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Right, that's looking quite good. Let's add some images. back to the image library. I'm going to go for the wedding section. Let's choose a few. Let's go for this one, that one, 
and maybe that one. So I've, I've chosen three at the same time. Click OK, they all get added to the screen. And let's just move them around. Now I'm actually placing them over the top of the placeholders, which is quite interesting. So basically you can add text and images, you can place them wherever you want, you can design it however you like. And I'm sure you can tell by now that I'm not particularly good at this. I'm sure you can do a much better job than me. But you get the idea. So really what will happen is every time a user takes their three photos, then they will be printed out on the A4 paper using this design and style. Now, we can actually save this design if we wish using these two options here. So we can click the Save Print Layout icon. And let's give it a name. There's actually some there already, but I'll just do it again to show you. John and Julie's Wedding Day, number three. The nice thing about doing that is that you will gradually build up your own set of print templates. So if you design another event at some point, you can always come into the print layout screen and choose to open or load one of the layouts. And as you can see, there's a few here. There are some blank ones that get shipped with Rightbooth. And I've created a few while I've been doing this training video. So let's choose this one and see what happens. So as you can see, it completely changes the layout for, for a pre-saved one. So that's the print layout feature. And I hope you can see that it's extremely powerful and very flexible. You can design your layouts exactly how you want them and build up your own library as you're going along.